One of the drag and drop options in Canvas Quizzes Next is the ordering question. With that, as the name implies, students are putting things in order. So you set it up by putting it in the correct order. So here I've got numbers between 1 and 61, and students need to correctly sequence it. So I can easily go through and add one. So let's say I want one to be 22. Well, that's not in the correct order. So I'm just going to come and drag it. So now I've got them in the correct order. I can click done at the end of this question. So for me, it's correct order. For students, it will be scrambled up and they'll need to drag it into the correct order. You can also do this with the paragraph form. Now, one of the things that I've noticed, and you'll see in a minute, here I've got Goldilocks and the Three Bears. I start with Once Upon a Time, and it ends with, ah, this porridge is just right. With this, I've clicked, as you can see, the paragraph form. Display answers in a paragraph. But because these are kind of longer, it doesn't really fit together like a paragraph. If they were one or two words, it might look different. So you'll see in a minute, it doesn't look bad. It just doesn't fit together like a smooth paragraph. So I'm going to click Done. Then I'm going to come up here. I'm going to click Return. We're going to go to Student View so that I can see this. Now, a major fault in Canvas Quizzes Next is there is not a preview option, so you have to publish your quiz, then go to Settings, Student View, in order for you to see what it's going to look like for your students. Once you're used to it, you won't need to do that every time, but initially you're going to want to do that so you can see what it looks like from their point of view. So we'll give it a second to load. So here I have put the no following numbers in order. So you can see they're all scrambled. Students will just quickly move things around. One thing I found is they do need to be able to use the mouse or the trackpad. This is not screen enabled, at least not on our devices. So our students cannot use their touch screen on their Chromebook to move it. So it does require a little bit more mobile dexterity than if it was just to use your finger to drag it. So we've got that. Now here's the paragraph option. So you can see because we've got some longer options, they don't really fit together well in a paragraph. But again, students can easily drag these around and put them wherever they think the correct answer is. So it's a pretty easy option. I really like it. It helps students interact with the quizzes more often. But like I said, there are some drawbacks in that in order to view it, I have to go to Settings and Student View. I also don't like that the scores are all or nothing. It's pretty easy on your side to go through and change it. They make it very obvious. Here, I'll show you. So they make it very obvious what's right and what's wrong. So you can go through and change the score in SpeedGrader. So here you can see I got all of these correct. But here I didn't. So here, if I wanted to as a teacher, I could go say this kid gets one point. And so I could quickly go and change that. So they do make it very easy for you to tell with these bold colors and the outline how many points a kid actually deserves. But it is really annoying that it's all or nothing so that I do have to go back and score it manually. Defeats a lot of the purpose. But overall, I think it's a good set of questions. I wouldn't use it all the time, but there are definitely times where it is worth going back and adding some of those points back for the kids.